In this video, I'm going to show you a quick, simple, and inexpensive way to save money on your heating bill this winter. You're going to want to seal up all of your outlets on the inside of your house. These are basically little insulating covers that go on the back side of your outlets and receptacles. These come pre-cut to use either a double. You can slice them down the middle for a single outlet. You can use a toggle switch or a regular rectangle toggle. Depending on whatever outlet you have, all you have to do is cut out the shape that you're using, put these on, put the cover back on, and you're going to stop all the draft and cold air from coming through your outlets. Now you may not think there's a lot of cold air coming through there, but a lot of times when they built houses, they didn't tuck any insulation back behind the receptacle boxes. So naturally air will come right through there. And I have a temp gun. I'll show you one in our room that does not have a insulator on it. I'll put one on. I'll wait about 30 minutes and then we'll check the temperature again and see what the difference is. By the end of the video, you're probably gonna buy some of these off Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description below. Stick these on your outlets, and you're gonna see a little bit of a decrease in your heating bill this winter. So let's get started on the test. So here we have a standard receptacle outlet. Nothing special about it. It's just built the way the house was built. I'm gonna shoot temperature along the wall right in here somewhere, and then I'll shoot the temperature right next to the outlet. So we take a look over here. We have 64 degrees. And we'll shoot right above the outlet. We have 62.2 degrees. Now I recommend that you go down and throw the breaker on your breaker box to kill the power to your outlet before changing these. Once you've done that, you just simply unscrew your outlet cover. And I'll show you here in a little bit that you can use these on the toggle switches and the rectangle switches as well, as well as the rectangle outlets. You can simply remove that cover. And then with this kit, you get these style receptacles or you get the ones that are die cut and you just simply punch them out. Uh, they're all gonna be included in the kit. And then you simply push this over the, your receptacle. Simply put our cover back on, tighten up that middle screw. I'll head back downstairs, throw the breaker on so we do have power. And then I'm gonna wait 30 minutes and then we're gonna shoot the temperature again and see if that made any difference. So if you have a toggle switch like this here that controls the lights, you simply punch out the rectangle on the insulator pad and that will simply slide into place and reattach just like the receptacles. These have a lot of different varieties. They will fit all different makes and models. Once again, I'll put a link in the description below on how to get these on Amazon. All right guys, it's been 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and shoot temperature at 64.7. and 64. So it's only 0.7 degrees difference now. So that's how much the outlet insulator helped keep the cold air out. Now these light switch sealers or light switch insulators will save you money in the long run. They're gonna save you some cooling costs in the summer and definitely save you some heating costs in the winter. Now you saw the temperature difference on one outlet. Now I counted, I have 28 outlets around the outside of my house. You only really only need to put these on the outer wall of your home. The inner wall of your home, you don't need to put these on. Now that's going to make a big difference. Could be $7 to $10 a month on your heating bill, possibly more. Hope you guys learned something from this video, and thanks for watching.